To my channel Michelle Gay science teacher in today's video we're going to talk about polymers and what is exactly a polymer well polymers are a chemical chain of molecules that repeat over and over again I bet you're saying well I still don't know what a polymer is well let me tell you a little bit more about a polymer polymers can be stretchy flexible and pliable we have polymers everywhere and we use them all the time. For instance, plastic. If you drink water from a plastic bottle, that is a polymer. If you love chewing gum, bubble gum, guess what? That is a polymer. Other polymers are styrofoam cups, anything that's pliable, that's stretchable. We're going to do a couple of experiments on polymers today. So, in order for you to keep up with me, you're going to need some materials. The materials you're going to need today are glue, food coloring, some small cups, regular water. You're going to need a mixture of borax and water. And you're going to need some cornstarch, a paper plate, a ruler, and some plastic bags. Also, you can have some teaspoons or tablespoons for this experiment. And maybe a wooden craft stick, you may need that also. If you don't have some of these materials, you can substitute something else and use that. Now, whenever we're doing an experiment, I always want to remind you of safety. Remember, safety is important, and with this experiment, I would love for you to have on some goggles or some type of eyewear to protect your eyes. Also, do not taste or eat anything or smell anything in this experiment. All right, go get your materials together so we can get started. Step one, you're going to add five, I mean six tablespoons of cornstarch to your bag. Then you're going to add five drops of food coloring. a little bit more than I should have. Now we're going to add four tablespoons of water. All right, we're going to close this bag up. Close it up. I want you to make observations of what you're seeing. And now we're going to knead or mix it together. And observe how it feels while you're mixing it together. Is anything happening while you're mixing this together? Anything occurring that you're noticing? Do you think you're making a polymer? Let's keep kneading. I'm trying to get my food coloring a little bit mixed in more and more. Okay, let's dump it on our plate. See what we get. I got a mixture of stuff. Some of it's thick. Look at that. Some of it's a little runny. But can we pick it up? Get my plate up. All right, is that stretchy? How does it feel? 
Does it feel gooey? Sticky? So this meets the characteristics of a polymer, doesn't it? It is pliable. It is stretchable. And all we took was some cornstarch, water, food coloring. Whoa, this is really neat. This is something you can do for fun and mix together and play with. All right, so I think I'll play. Okay, what did you think about polymer one? It was easy to make and easy materials that you already have at home that your mom may have in the kitchen. And if not, you can just run up to the dollar store and get a can of cornstarch, some food coloring, and this will be easy to make. All right, so that was fun. It was ooey, it was gooey. So let's go to our next polymer. For this one, you will need your borax mixture, you're going to need your glue, and with your glue, I want you to take your small cup and ruler and measure one centimeter from the bottom. And then I want you to pour your glue to that level. Now that you have your glue, I want you to add five drops of food coloring to your glue. I take your little stick, go ahead and mix that together, and then we're going to pour in this cup seven milliliters of water. Now on your uh, teaspoon, one teaspoon is five, so that will help you out if you don't have something else to measure by. And a half teaspoon is 2.5. So I'm just going to put not quite all of this. Let's mix it together. Really mix it well. Get your plastic bag. Now, how do you think, or what do you think is going to be different with this polymer compared to the first one? Pour your glue mixture in here. They look the same, don't they, right now because of the color. Now we're going to add 8 milliliters of our borax solution. Okay, where is that? Okay, I'll mix them up. Make sure your borax is mixed really well. Um, so you may have to go back and mix it. Alright, so we said eight. So that's five. That's 2.5. Just a tad bit more. Close our bag and mix well again. All right, do you feel anything? How does it feel? What do you think? Is it feeling thicker? Is it loose? Okay. I'm going to take it out of the bag. I'm going to get a different plate. Just so I don't make a mess. Let's see what I have on this one. Oh, what do you think? Oh, look. Is it stretchy? Yes. Let's see. Oh, it's really stretchy. 
sort of reminds me of um, slime but not quite let's see if I can roll it up it's a little sticky I probably should have added a little bit more yeah, it's getting thicker look at that Now this is more like um, a putty, more than slime. This is more of a putty consistent. I have to tell you a little bit about putty in a minute. Alright, so if you compare this polymer to our first polymer, mine has gotten a little hard. Compare the two and tell me the different characteristics. Tell me how does polymer one compare to polymer two? How does polymer one feel or how did it feel? All right. Which one was stretchier? Which one was more pliable? Look at that. This is such a fun, 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 fun uh, experiment. And one, um, one year, um, I did this article with Scholastic News, and uh, it was talking about the polymer gum. And uh, one of the activities that I did with my students was called the stretch test. And uh, in that particular experiment is where you take gum and chew it and compare it um, different times by putting it in water. I think I'll do that for you um, May, hopefully in the next video or a video coming up so you can try that particular the stretch test uh, with polymers at home or at school all right so you can play around with this and then I want you to come back to the video so we can finish up silly putty was invented by accident it was this guy named James Wright who worked for the General Electric New Haven, Connecticut lab in 1943. At that time there was the war going on and there was a shortage of rubber because uh, Japan was invading uh, different rubber producing countries uh, during that time and because there was a shortage the U.S. government was enlisted to aid in the companies to help invent some type of synthetic rubber. Well. During this time, uh, Mr. Wright, he was uh, mixing things to make this rubber and one of the things he used was boric acid and silicone oil. And when he did that, he made his first silly putty. Um, it had became first known as the nutty putty and uh, because it was this gooey mixture and um, it became really known and they started buying it and selling it and kids started playing with it at home and that's how uh, Nutty Putty or Silly Putty was invented. Today was a fun day doing hands-on investigations creating polymers. I hope you had as much fun as I did. I hope that you are subscribed to my channel and part of my YouTube channel. If not, click that subscribe button, like and share this video so that others can do hands-on science experiment at home or at school. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you have a wonderful